Hello friends and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Queen Alley 33 so nice to meet you. I will be doing makeup today to show you my um, kind of favorites, my everyday makeup routine when I feel like doing my makeup. Since Ipsy, I just really stick to what I like and don't feel the need to dry everything ever. So uh, this is what I do. Um, I'll put my light on and welcome. Hi, if you are new here. Hi, my name is Queen Alley 33 and I used to do a lot of Ipsy videos and now I do not. I'm not subscribed to Ipsy anymore um, because I just kind of fell out of loving makeup and would rather do something else. Um, yeah. How are you? So every day I start with a vino um, moisturizer to put on my face. Um, here is my makeup bag. I usually just work out of my makeup bag with all of my favorite things. So I have this huge, big, long desk filled with things that I don't really use. I just keep my makeup bag on top and kind of dig through that. So after moisturizer is, I like to curl my eyelashes. Let me flip this around. I curl my eyelashes. Now I just bought this one from Target. I think it's a wet and wild. I don't think it's doing anything, but it's fine. Ouch. <laughs> I almost just ripped off my eyelashes. Before foundation? Nope. Primer. Before foundation. I just use true tried and true elf poreless putty. I think this is pretty old. A couple of whenever Jeffrey Star reviewed it, was that 2019 already? Long time ago. I think they have a more convenient way to do this now with like a squeeze bottle, I think. So, uh, pour this putty primer helps your foundation grip to your face. That's why you use primer before foundation. For foundation, I use L'Oreal's True Match. I am the shade N12 Natural Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. This is more kind of my summer shade and right now it's winter. So I am kind of orange with it, but it's fine. It's fine. Just do two pumps on your crusty, dusty yuckiness of uh, beauty sponge. I use Real Techniques. And now with this foundation, it is a repurchase. I loved it so much the first time that I had to buy it again. So that tells you how much I love it, I guess. Uh, for concealer under my eyes, I use Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 22N Light Natural. Um, back in the day, I would put this all over my face, of course. The forehead, the under eyes, the nose. Um, that's like the 2016 of era of makeup. And now I just do under my eyes. But as the youngins say, I F Y <laughs> I F Y If you know, you know. I F I F K Y K. If you were a makeup girly in the 2016 era, you were putting concealer all over your face. 
I also, I bring it up to my eyelids and use that as eyelid, eyelid primer. Back in the day, I would use a whole set of product for eyelid primer. I'm over that. I'm over that phase of life and just use what I already have. I just use concealer. It's fine. It's fine. Um, eyeshadow. I do whatever kind of brown I have on hand. Like today, I'm going to use this brown from this palette. I have a whole drawer full of eyeshadow. I'm whatever brown is available for me with whatever brush is available to me. And I put it all over my lid. I know I feel myself doing the eye, the forehead thing, and then that creates like a pattern out of the foundation. So it's really hard to like stop yourself from doing that. But try not to do that. Um, that's all I do for eyes. If I'm feeling real ambitious, I'll put like a shimmery eyeshadow on top of the brown. It's fine. Um, next is contour. Maybe some bronzer. Bronzer for the chi, the in contour of the cheeks. Is that the word we're looking for? Old crusty dusty brush in Pacifica. This is definitely Gem Ipsy. Jawline. That's what this is called. Jawline. Next blush. Trusty Dusty brush. Um, the blush I've been using lately is this Tarte Parte. Looks like that. Highlighter, crusty dusty brush. Um, highlighter is Aurea Ofra, Madison Miller's. It must have been a collab. Uh, looks like it's never been used, but I trust me, I use this on the cheekbones, of course. Um, nose, if you want. Cupid's bow. Remember in 2016 when we do eyebrows, inner corners, down the nose, dot of the nose, Cupid's bow, here. That's so 2016. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, eyebrows. I use, oop, this is eyeliner. Uh, this is a rebuy. Um, L'Oreal Infallible Precision Felt. And it's got like this little grippy here for you to hang on to it way better. But the um, brush for it is definitely precision. So that's why I like it the most. I hold onto my eyeliner like this and I study my elbow on my table or whatever I have for steadiness, I guess is the word. Little at a time. Don't feel like you need to do a whole the whole eye swoop, just a little line at a time. And then for this last part, I take the brush this way and I go from the corner in to match the line that I've already drawn. Like that. Steady your arm. 
not in love with this mascara. It's just drugstore Rimea London. Rimea, how do they say it? Rimea London, something like that. Scandalous Curve Alert. Not in love with it. I think it's pretty clumpy. It was cheap at Target or whatever. This is old. This is from Ipsy. Don't even doesn't even have the name on it anymore. That's how old it is. My favorite lipstick is is a L'Oreal Revlon Revlon Rum Raisin. It's the Rum Raisin shade. Is it L'Oreal or is it Revlon? I don't remember. Let me see. Revlon Rum Raisin. This is not the shade. This is Wine with Everything. I've been really loving doing the uh, layer of chapstick before my lipstick when it's especially when it's not a liquid lipstick to make it just like your lip color but better because it's not as harsh of the color than when you do chapstick over it. Um, finishing spray NYX. This is literally from high school for me. So like 10 years old this year. And that's it. That's how I do my makeup um, this winter in the year 2024. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.